Pollen Chug, Jug, Bug, Doug, Pup, Chainsaw, Strawberry Margarita, Busy Nice heaping fat scoop. Boom, just like that. Take notes. Next, strawberry lemonade ice water. Gouge it nice, round it, smother it, overwhelm it, just a lot of ice. Then finish it off with some H2O liquid. Mm. And then every single time, uh, and then every single time, it comes out nice, cold, and refreshing with the ice water, nice flavor. The strawberry margarita all merges together and then it's nice and hydrational with the water. And I already told you how I did this in my like two videos ago. Basically, got the monster in the shaker bottle. We're about to do another strawberry margarita with the hooligan. And this is a pre-workout ritual. This is what I pretty much do almost every single day, bro. So, what we're gonna do actually is about, about half a scoop. Look at that. So you know, it's not even though. So it really doesn't look like half a scoop. Not even half a scoop. Could you could you do me a favor and focus? All right, either way, half a scoop, not nearly a full scoop of the hooligan, right? And you're thinking, why, Luke? Why are you doing half a scoop? Yeah, there's monster in here, this and that. But I uh, kind of the whole reason I'm actually showing you all this is because I want to introduce you to something. Could you go on, please? Huh? I want to introduce you to something new. I want to introduce you to Shogun. Shogun. There he goes. Anarchy Lab. Anarchy Lab is basically it's uh, owned by Apollo Nutrition. Apollo Nutrition and Anarchy are pretty much the same company. And I got hooked up with this. This is like a fat burner, aka pre workout, like a pill. It, dude, this thing's amazing. I tried it for the first time yesterday. Uh, it, it, it's really good. Let me show you the ingredients really quick. Let me show you the ingredients. I just hopped on this yesterday. So it's pretty sick. Shogun. Um, so right now we got uh, uh, L carcinine or cardinine. L card. Or car okay. L cardinine. Uh, caffeine, uh, anhydrose, uh, 300 milligrams, 300 milligrams of a caffeine formula, okay? DMHA, 2 amino, 6 methylapapaline. Oh, uh, you could read that for yourself if you wanna. Hold up. So basically, that's the new formula of like an old school DMMA. And that stuff, this stuff works. So the DHA, the DMHA in this gets you just. Just gonna have to try it out for yourself, all right? Then it has a, other, a couple other ingredients, uh, biopurine, gamma, something. Stuff I'm not really 100% familiar with, but we're gonna pop two of these, which is a serving size. Oh, I just dropped the pill. That's 300 milligrams DHMA, and then we got a pre-workout on deck. This combo, this, co this combo is like a legendary stack right here with the hooligan. Then we get the BCAAs on deck. Everything just all comes together at the end. I haven't been like telling you. I, I mean, I'm always taking the BCAAs. Now I'm taking the Shogun. Let me just pop it. Let me just pop it. It's swallowing pills. Okay. So that's a new stack, baby. That's a new stack, and I'm excited because I did it yesterday, like I just said, and my workout felt amazing. 275 on the incline for seven reps, which was one rep, actually half a rep, because I hit seven and a half reps, away from my all-time PR of 275 pounds on the incline press. This stuff works, and I'm just getting back into it. it took all, I took like a whole month and a half off this summer of incline press. I wasn't doing any barbell incline press, really. Honestly, nothing serious. So the fact that my strength is already there uh, in September, it, dude, I don't even know. I'm probably gonna be bumping out 275 for like 10, 11 in a few months. Just wait, just wait on it. And I wanted, I, my, I have goals. My goals are lifting or an incline of uh, 315 pounds for like, I want to do like five. I want to hit like five on an incline with 315 uh, in the next few months with 315 on incline. Bench press. I don't know why I just repeated that a bunch of times. I want to be able to hit like 600 on a deadlift for like three. I mean, that's that's a stretch. My deadlift is a little bit plateaued right now, but we're getting there. Um, I f I'm back up to 500 on squat already, and I wasn't even squatting heavy all summer like I just said. So the fact that my strength's already there, it's all that muscle memory. Um, I got big goals. I got big numbers I want to hit this winter. So yeah, just 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 so you guys know my goals. If you ever wondering, like, oh, I wonder where you want to hit, whatever. This is what, what do you want to get up to? Blah blah blah. So that's that. Um, I'm probably want to be. I want to be able to squat maybe five eighty five for a single. Um, 
That'd be really cool. That'd be really heavy. We'll see. We'll see if I can get up there. I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit fluffier, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. 550 will be something I might be able to get close up to soon, actually. So we'll see what's gonna happen. But right now, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I really just wanted to show you guys the Shogun because I actually really do, uh, freaks with this stuff. I freak with it. I freak with it. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> So sometimes, I don't know, I just feel like putting this on the video. Sometimes I like to watch like motivational like edits with some music, some speeches, stuff like that. Before the workout, after I'm like drinking my pro workout, just finish it. And as I'm getting dressed, it's like hypes helps hype me up, get my mind right. And uh yeah, I like that shit. It just gets me in the mood, gets me like thinking, everything I just wanna I don't know, it's just one of those little things. Little like little like little bro tips. If you're trying to get into the mood and you're not feeling motivated, I always feel motivated, but like stuff like this just really gets me amped. Really gets my mind right. Gets me into the mood. Just like, yeah, buddy. Let's get this shit, baby. Story time, story time. For shits and cakes, because I feel like this would be kind of funny to talk about. All right, so yesterday, I'm in here with Jake. Jake's been over here for the weekend, because it was Labor Day weekend, so he just came over, came home from school, whatever, this and that. I'm hitting chest, he's doing legs, hit squats like I'm doing today, and uh, you know, we had a later start to the session, it's like six, and it's, at this point, it's around 7 p 7.30 p.m., and I'm minding my own business. The music's not too loud. I'm playing Stronger by Kanye West. I'm over here by the edge of the uh, garage in the natural lighting, trying to snag a pic for my Instagram story, right? And all of a sudden I hear, hey, and he's like, oh, hey, uh, could you uh, lower the bass? My stupid neighbor. Over there to focus. Stupid neighbor, again, comes over here. And uh, ah, you know, I, I get it. He says he's trying to sleep at like 7.30. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, dude, but don't, don't talk to me like the way you talk to me. The way he said it, he's like, could you lower the brace, dude? I'm like, I go, I'll go, oh, yeah, okay, oh yeah. It gave me kind of attitude. I was just like kind of thrown off because I was trying to take a picture. And then someone was calling me, so that's where the music stopped. And when that happened, he started like talking. But the way he talked to me, man, like, I'm 21 years old, don't talk to me like that. So I gave him, I didn't even say sorry, like, dude, it's like 7.30. And he complained about his, his baby or them trying to sleep on like 4.30 when I used to work out early in the day. So he just, he just always come over to you to try to bitch about something. Like, I swear to God. I'm like, all right, buddy, like, all right. Like, dude, we ended up shutting the garage in a little bit anyway because it was getting darker out. And I like it when it's still, I like it when it's hot in here. The dude's always like, Bro, just be like, yo, dude, uh, would you mind? Um, I'm trying to sleep. Like, just like, don't give me attitude. Don't give me attitude while I'm inside of my workout, all right? The music was not that loud. We literally, like, from the beginning, we used to have the speaker over there. So, like, it makes sense that, the, like, the bass and the music would travel outside. But we literally moved the speakers over here. We have it pointing it in this direction. And then we have some, uh, sound, sound foam, uh, like foam, like the foam things over there to help, like, from the sound bouncing off the wall, whatever. Like, dude, 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 we did. I mean, you know, I'm not blasting music the whole entire time. I'm only doing it for, like, the main sets, this and that. Like, dude, don't come over here and give me attitude, all right? You're talking to the wrong guy. Like, don't give me attitude. Dude just always wants to bitch about something. I swear to God. Like, oh, but John asleep. It's like 7.30, dude. I gave a daughter, I gave a little, I get you have a baby, but, like, dude, when did, when did they sleep? 4.30 to 7.30 to 9.30? Like, what? I don't, I don't. I, I, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. And I'm always, I'm just like, me and Jake, like, dude, screw that, dude. I'm over here trying to lift. I only blast music for like little intervals. And we were, um, we were wrapping up the workout anyway. So I just thought that was pretty funny. He was like, oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, dude, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. All right, so you, so, so you know what I'm saying? I'll get Jake behind the camera, by the way. That's why it's flowing. What up? That's why it's flowing. He's about to leave in like an hour and a half. So we just got to ca capture this one main set. But you know what I'm saying about what I was talking about before. Like the dude was like standing there like halfway, like he wasn't, he, was, he wouldn't, he wouldn't bet, he wouldn't even think about coming on the driveway. He was just like all the way up there, like kind of had a yell, like he was just like, I, I wish you would, like I wish you would kind of thing. But no disrespect, whatever. Either way, 510. That was a huge transition. We're gonna see what we got with this baby. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. It might have been that shogun. It might have been the shogun I took. But either way, we're gonna get hype. Oh, looking at this for like a single, or at least a single. Do that. Never underestimate yourself, baby. Oh, 
uncomfortable weight where you're gonna sit down with it. I don't know about the dad, I don't know how it felt, but it felt good. It felt good. I like to just challenge myself. Like almost every single day I've hit like a compound movement nowadays. It's because I don't know, it's fun. It's more fun. Like I could have just stopped at like 405, went up to 430 and then tossed about that weight, but I've done it before. I've done it before. I'm trying to get my CNS back the way it was like in the winter time. So 510 for a double-ish. Not bad, not too shabby. I pretty much want to wrap this video up on a kind of like a serious kind of note, not really serious, not serious at all, I'm not a serious person, but I kind of just want to talk about something. I feel like lately uh, I've been coming to the consensus with myself that like I've been kind of like sending a, a sending a good positive message in a form of like fitness and fun. Like it, it, a lot of people get the misconception that like fitness is like that work, you dread it, oh you gotta get into it, you gotta be fit, you gotta be healthy, like this and that, like it doesn't gotta be like that dude, it doesn't gotta be like that, it doesn't have to go down like that. Fitness could be fun. You see me all the time goofing off, acting weird on camera, right? I do probably way more weird stuff and dancing, this and that, acting dumb. In between my workouts and sets and like that, just having fun, vibing, listening to music, whatever it is. And I only record like a small portion of it just to show you that that's actually the reality. Like I'm not hiding anything. I'm just being 100% transparent. And that like, I kind of want to start spreading the message that like, yo, fitness is fun. I don't know. I'm sure that's out there already, but like, dead ass. I feel like I, I, I'm a good like representation <clears throat> representation of like the fact that like you could have a fun time being fit. You don't. It doesn't have to be like a two hour session. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be powerlifting. It doesn't have to be bodybuilding. It, it, it could be calisthenics. It could be running. It could be jogging. It could be like circuit things. Whatever you get into. But like, obviously, the hardest part is getting into the workout. You're not like feeling it. This and that. Uh, you don't like caffeine, maybe. Whatever. But as soon as you get into the workout, as soon as the blood flowing, you get into it, right? You get into it. You get your workout in, whatever. But it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to suck, right? Everyone thinks like has. You know, you ha it, 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 Some people take working out as work. It doesn't have to be like that. Like I pretty much have fun every single time I'm in the gym, whether Jake's there or not, whether I'm with uh, a friend or not. It could be at a pollen gym. It doesn't have to be at my home gym, and that's not even. It's not an excuse to like, oh well, you work at a home gym, you get the blast music out, whatever. Well, I, 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 weird, whatever gym I'm at. You just gotta put, you gotta plug in the music, play your favorite music, whatever it is, and just get into it, vibe with it, dance a little bit, whatever it is. Like when I'm dancing in between sets, acting weird, whatever, I'm burning calories just doing that. It's like it's like cardio between sets. I'm always it's always something, and it doesn't have to be like as hardcore as I go. It's just like the, that's just the way I like to train. But like right before I did like 500, I was kind of like goofing off. I was telling you guys a story, this and that. Uh, when I was um, <clears throat> doing drop sets, I didn't record every single set, but like I'm just like, you know, vibing, listening to music, getting into it, and you go demolish your set. It doesn't have to be super heavy, it doesn't have to be super light, it could be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be like, you know, what I'm saying, like I just said, like powerlifting, whatever. But I just want to start spreading the message like, fitness is fun, it, does, it, it feels good too. As soon as you're done, you have all this energy, whatever. If you want to work out before, before you go to work or after you have work, it gives you energy. It doesn't have to be two hours, it doesn't have to be an hour, it could be like literally 30, 45 minutes, whatever it is, and just have fun with it, man. Just have fun. But find a way to make it fun because it is and can be fun. You know what I'm saying? It feels good. It's good for you. And yeah, I just kind of want to like talk about that a little bit because like I don't know. Like I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm one of those guys that really just show uh, the good side of lifting. I feel like everyone's like, oh, 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 oh. like eh, it's not. It, it does, it's not. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to. You don't have to go down like that. You don't have to be the music and feel like depressed and sit under the bar and just like oh. Like maybe maybe have like a monster. Maybe have a cup of coffee. Um, or just get your blood flowing. Maybe step on the cardio machine. Get into it. So I listen to the music. Be like, okay, okay. Get to the next set. Whatever it may be. Maybe you maybe you do like he he training heavy. Get into it. Have fun with it. it doesn't have to be like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, basically, I just want to start spreading the message that like fitness is fun. I might put L's the L's thing to the side and wait for the time to be right. Cause I just feel in my head like the time is not right right now. Uh, with all the whole YouTube thing right now. Cause right now, like I feel like it's like it's like it's kind of like really plateaued for me right now. But I ain't gonna stop me. I just like doing stuff I like spreading a message and this is something I kind of want to start spreading a little bit more that like fitness is fun and probably different words but I might
might I might come out with like I'm um, I'm actually really really actually might come out with like you know very simple to the point like shirts something along that line like you know fitness is fun something like that because it is and it really is and I, I feel like I feel like I want to get more of you guys into it like you know what I mean like you know do some boxing just jump around act dumb but get the blood flowing that's all that matters just have fun with it that's what it's all about baby so with all that being said I'm just gonna wrap the video up right here hope you guys got something out of that remember to drop a thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new follow your boy on the IG Luke underscore Ellsman otherwise guys your boy is out.